We got some bogus NFL news that I want to discuss before we dive into the latest around the New Orleans Saints. Ian Rappaport putting this out this morning that the NFL has banned the hip drop tackle per sources. The competition committee was unanimous on it. Well, here's the thing. The competition committee is Charmin Ultrasoft because this rule is absolutely freaking ridiculous. No player likes this. They're making it impossible to play defense. Cameron Jordan, J.J. Watt, a, a million plus defensive players across the NFL. I'll hate this rule. So, what do you think of this move by the NFL? You see it down below me. Get in the comments section. And let's talk about the latest around the black and gold. Today's show, we're going to be discussing an NFL draft visit for Keon Coleman, the Florida State wide receiver. He is meeting with the New Orleans Saints. And on top of that, I was scrolling the interwebs and I saw an article that linked Justin Simmons to the New Orleans Saints and explain the fit. So I'm going to share that article and share my thoughts on that. But before we do, got to give a big time shout out to Prize Picks, my favorite daily fantasy sports app and the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. I absolutely love Prize Picks and it's my favorite way to play daily fantasy sports. And unlike you know, the regular season through the NFL, I'm trying to get a little bit more creative with my selections. With the projections that I'm picking, I'm not just going one sport these days. I'm going multi-sport, multi-league. So March Madness is underway. I hope your bracket ain't too busted, but if it is, you can get some of that money back by going more on Trey Alexander to have 16.5 points for Creighton and Jalen Brown to have more than 22.5 points for the Boston Celtics versus the Atlanta Hawks. If you guys want to tail my picks, if you want to fade my picks, I don't care. Just do it on Prize Picks. If you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, you can get a first-time deposit match up to $100, meaning you put in $100, bucks, the Prize Picks throws in $100, bucks, you got $200 to lay down on your projections. You can win real money in real time, so just go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Plug in that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. All that information is in the comment section description of this video in case you weren't listening and because I love you. So let's talk about the draft visit that a wide receiver is making with the New Orleans Saints. The FSU, the seminal wide receiver, has a meeting set up with the New Orleans Saints. So let's take a look at the draft profile. He did transfer from Michigan State to Florida State in 2023. If you're unfamiliar with the player, he started off in the Big Ten, took his talents to the ACC, teamed up with Jordan Travis, and actually had a pretty good year. Now, the numbers for this player, they're not going to jump off that screen. They're not going to make you just sit there and be like, holy cow, why are the Saints not running up to the draft podium right this second and giving them their card? But he has really, really nice attributes. He has really, really good uh, intangibles. And he has really nice athleticism that I do think a lot of teams will be high on. He's six foot four, 215 pounds, and he is really, really talented at the point of catch. He's got really strong hands, and his body control is remarkable. And on top of that, he has highlight reel catches, and a lot of that came from quarterbacks and plays that weren't really highlight reel worthy plays. Like a lot of jump balls, because the quarterbacks that he had threw a lot of jump balls, a lot of 50 50 contested catch balls. To be honest, the contested catch percentage isn't that great he went 10 for 30 this past year but he is still an explosive an explosive player and he doesn't have great just long direct speed but he's still very explosive if you look at the RAS the relative athletic score for Keon Coleman you can see the uh, the athleticism and the explosiveness explosiveness excuse me is there the 10 yard split at 1.54 seconds is really really good that 40 yard dash of course you wish that you could have had a higher uh, or a better time there, but he has really good measurables. He has a really nice vertical. He has a really nice broad jump, and I think that those are reasons the Saints could look to explore this option in the draft. Now, I do want to throw out this chat fact, which I actually think is pretty cool. Keon Coleman, when he was at Michigan State, he played for the basketball team as well as the football team out there. Remind you, anybody? 
Do I need to give you a hint? He wore number 80. You traded him away a few years ago. He made a cool homecoming this year. Sailing halfway across the world. Yeah, Jimmy Graham. Miami, University of Miami basketball player. Look how good he turned out. Just going to say that. But let's look at the production for Keon Coleman. Like I said, it's not going to jump out at screen. But two things do here. The receptions, 50. Uh, it's all right. 658 yards. Like, man, I wish that was better. But 13.2 yards per catch. I like it. I I'm not going to sit here and say I don't. I really like that. But 11 touchdowns and two drops. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is really, really good. And that right there is why I think the Saints should go and draft Keon Coleman at some point if he's available in the second round. And I don't know if I would take him in the first round. Our draft experts here inside the walls at Chat Sports say he's more of a second round guy. So I wanted to ask you the question. Would you draft Keon Coleman in round two? Round one can be whatever player you want. Can be an edge rusher, can be an offensive lineman, can be whatever. But round two, would you go with Keon Coleman? Just give me a D for draft or a P for pass. Now, for me, I would 100% take a wide receiver in round two, whether that's Keon Coleman, whether that's an Xavier Leggett, whether that's an Adnay Mitchell, whether that's whoever falls to round two. I would go wide receiver in round two. Don't really care who it is. I want a tall, athletic Big body guy, though. Like, I, I want a specific type of receiver in round two. But I'm not necessarily sure and I'm not necessarily sold that the Saints are going to go that route. And I'm not necessarily sold that the Saints would want to go that route. But let's keep talking about Keon Coleman in case they do. Like we said, the Florida State wide receiver in terms of pros and cons, he moves really, really well for his size. He does have that nice athleticism. He does not have nice explosion. And on top of that, he does have really, really good, uh, has a really good ability to contort his body, move his body around in the air, and make plays when he needs to. He cannot create a lot of separ separation when he's running routes. He does have to have, you know, a little bit of a, a little, little bit of a scrap, if you will, to catch the ball. But he does have really, really good hands. Five career drops, two of those were this past season, and. For a lot of people, speed is a concern. I can understand why that's a concern. But here's my thing. You don't need a speedster. You, you, you don't need him to be a speech. You don't need him to be fast as hell. Because you have that on your depth chart right now. You have Rashid Shahid. You're good. You got your speedster. Don't need to fill that in. I just need somebody who can make contested catches. I need somebody who can climb the ladder. I need somebody who can make the difficult catches and use their body and be a dominant force. I love what A.T. Perry has done in the very, very extremely, just unbelievably underrated sample size that we have. A.T. Perry was incredible. But Chris Olave, Cedric Wilson, Rashid Shahid, Stanley Morgan, and A.T. Perry, you need another big-bodied guy. So I wouldn't mind going an Xavier Leggett or a Keon Coleman in round two. Now, let me tell you a quick reason why you should subscribe before we talk about Justin Simmons here. We have daily videos and live shows around your New Orleans Saints. We do it all year long. Whether it's in the regular season, on game day, we're doing live coverage, play-by-play, -play, audience interaction. It's a ton of fun. Off-season, I mean, we're going live in free agency. We're going live around the draft. We're going live multiple times a week just to talk ball and chop it up with you. And on top of that, Maybe the best reason, I'm a lifelong Saints fan. I'm not just a guy who wanted to talk about sports for a living, got a job, and is pretending to be a fan. No, dude, I have been bleeding black and gold since the day I took my first breath. You can go back and look at the pictures of when I was a child, and they are all in Saints jerseys. No Cowboys jerseys, no Texans jerseys, no Steelers, no Chiefs, none of that. I am a Saints fan through and through, and it is an absolute blessing and a dream come true for me to have this as my job. I don't take this responsibility lightly. I try to give you guys coverage every day and try to bring it every single time I hop on the mic. And my promise to you is I'm going to give you everything I got, whether that's coming in on my off days, whether that's coming back to the office after the Saints make a signing in free agency, whether that's doing stuff on the holidays. I don't care. I'm going to give you everything that I got. So if that's something that you want, you don't always have to agree with me. You don't always have to like what I'm going to say but you can at least appreciate and admire the work 
and the videos because who doesn't like talking about the New Orleans Saints? So lock us in, subscribe today, and join our family. So y'all have seen that SpongeBob meme? Y'all have seen y'all seen that SpongeBob episode? And you know he's with Sandy Cheeks, and she's like trying to get him some water, or whatever. And he goes, "I don't need it. I don't need it." Well, here's the thing: Justin Simmons in New Orleans, I need it because he would be so so good. And I did see an article naming the Saints as a fit for Justin Simmons. And so I want to kick it to that article. It's the latest word on sports. The New Orleans Saints refuse to rebuild, which means they could be interested in signing a free agent like Justin Simmons. Any offense with Derek Carr under center will never be an unstoppable juggernaut. So the team will have to build the defense if they want to win in an improved NFC South. For the record, totally agree with everything that was just said. Simmons and Tyron Matthew could form one of the best safety duos in football even though both players are on the older side. Justin Simmons is the right move. Let me make one thing explicitly clear. I don't think Justin Simmons would be a good signing. I don't think that he would be in a, I don't think that the Saints should do it. The Saints need to. Like, it's not a good idea. It's not a smart idea. It is the right idea. The right move is bringing in a safety who is a veteran, who since he's joined the league in 2016, leads the NFL in interceptions. And on top of that, this guy can line up in multiple different areas and make an impact at multiple different levels. Just in 2023, it, Simmons lined up 13 times on the defensive line. I'm not saying here, sitting here saying he needs to rush the passer. I really don't think he needs to all that much. If he wants to, cool. Why not? But he can play free safety. You can let Tyron Matthew play strong safety. On top of that, you could flip-flop him. Let Justin Simmons play strong safety and let Tyron Matthew play free safety. Whatever you want to do there, you can make it happen. Justin Simmons can also play in the box. He can also play in the slot. He can run stuff. He can be in the middle. He can play deep. He can do what you need. And he fits exactly what the Saints need on defense. You have not had a slot corner or a slot safety or a box or a nickel guy since C.J. Gardner-Johnson was traded away. You tried making it work with Elante Taylor, and it hasn't. But this player can make it happen inside the ha in between the hashes, and he can be a good asset and a good player on the Saints' defense, giving them more leadership, giving them more talent, giving them more swagger. I mean, this kind of player is a really smart addition to the New Orleans Saints. I think that it would be asinine for the Saints to not at least make a call. I love the idea of bringing Justin Simmons to New Orleans. Tyron Matthew, I've mentioned this so many times. He has talked nothing but highly about Justin Simmons. Matthew even said that Simmons is one of his favorite players in the league. Go and get him. I mean, if you can go give him a two-year, I mean, what, 18 to 20 million? Come on. Like, that, 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 that is what I want on my football team. Jordan Howden, I love what he can do. I, I absolutely love it. But I want a dominant team. I want a dominant defense. And I want the New Orleans Saints to bring in a player of Justin Simmons' caliber. The fact that he hasn't been signed yet, maybe he's asking for more money than other teams were willing to pay. So, let's get creative with that cap money. Let's get creative with that cap space and make this freaking happen. So comment down below. Shout out to my girlfriend, Maddie, making this badass jersey swap. She's been doing all of those for me that we've been showing on the channel. Would you sign Justin Simmons? I mean, I think he looks really good in the black and gold. And I think that it would be a really, really smart addition. So I'm typing my yeses in the comment section, and I would give him two years, $20 million. Don't even think about it. It would be an excellent move for the New Orleans Saints to do that. What do you think, though, Saints fans? Get in the comment section. And y'all stay golden. We'll see you next time.